Hello, I will be explaining to you on how to use Zotero step by step. So Zotero is a free open source research tool which will help you to organize and share your research. The steps are being explained as follows from 1 to 7. So the first one will be downloading Zotero standalone from the Zotero web page. This is the link given to the uh, web page. So I have already loaded it. So on your right hand side you see Zotero standalone. Here you simply click on the Zotero uh, download Zotero for Windows and you get a file being downloaded so and then you just have to simply install it. Next you have to um, register yourself on the Zotero web page. So here on your right side top top right side you get the link to register click on it and you get this page where you have to enter all these details and you click register after that now you have an official account on the Zotero web page so next you have to go to preferences on your software and add those details so here's your downloaded software so you have to click on the tools tab and you get preferences click on it on the general tab you have to have all these boxes being ticked Next, move on to the sync tab and you have to enter your username and the password you entered on your web page to register yourself and make sure you have this sync automatically box ticked and then click OK. So this will allow you to sync all your documents to your web page. Next, we will be adding a collection. Go to your Zotero application. So under my library, you see there are many folders. So for each research you do, you can have a new folder. On this corner with a folder, you can click it to get a new collection. And you can name this collection with whatever you want. According to your research, I will name it tutorial. Click on OK and there you go. A new collection. So you can add your PDF to this by simply downloading your PDF to your computer and then you look at the folder and just drag and drop the PDF. So now, after you add your files to the collection, you can get the metadata. Right click on it and click retrieve metadata for PDF. So you have to have the internet connection for this. If you get the metadata, you will have a green color tick here, else you will get a red color cross. So always try to download your papers by using a um, website such as IEEE or uh, ResearchGate. So we'll, you will always get your metadata. Once you get your metadata, you can click on that link and view your PDF. Apart from that, you can enter your file and add any notes. You click on the add button and you can add a summary regarding your research document. Else you can add any tags. Here I have added two tags. Uh, so you can add any tag you want. And if you want to know all the research papers that come under the network tag you can simply under this my library you have the network tag you click on it and you get all the research papers which belong to the network tag next we will be adding citations and bibliography to our research document so here once you download your uh, Zotero application and install it on your Word document, you will get a Zotero tab. Click on it. And under Document Preferences, if you click on it, you get the citation styles you want. So you can click on any style you want. I will be choosing the Harvard style. And then click OK. So to have the citations, click on the Zotero tab again. Click Add or Edit Citations. Here, you get the red color bar. You can type on any uh, name of any document you want so here's the one I want so I enter and then enter again and there you go if you want the bibliography for that 
click on the Zotero tab again and click insert bibliography so this is the research document I referred to next if you want to add more than one citation you can go to the Zotero tab again click edit add or edit citation and click on this small drop down button here go to classic view and here you see button called multiple sources click on it and you can select any research document you want and in this middle space you see this arrow pointing to the next box click on it and it goes to the next box so you can click on any research then add to that other box click OK and there you go three citations along with the bibliographies automatically being added so these are some very small but important steps that you can use Zotero for it might seem complicated but once you get used to it you'll feel that it's way more better than uh, individually inserting your uh, citations as well as your bibliography thank you for watching